All right, good night, everybody. We are going to do some snowflakes tonight. Uh, we've done this project previously, and uh, we're going to, it's just sort of a repeat because the time of season it is, it just feels like doing snowflakes. But what I've also decided is that this month is flake month because I've been looking up other <laughs> ways of making snowflakes. So um, it's flake month. Anyway, <laughs> so the next few projects we'll have will be all snowflake kind of things. So anyway, um, I had uh, instructed you to see if you could find some paper. So um, the deli paper is this kind of stuff and it's kind of like parchment paper, but I don't know if it's really that. Um, I think parchment paper has a bit of more of a wax to it or something anyway. So anyway, there's deli paper. You can also use origami paper. If you're using colored origami paper, you could use the colored stuff, but then just you know show the backside and you'll see a bit of color come through. Or, you know, if you can't find anything else, you know, a good old photocopier paper works just fine. You just have to cut it into a square. So that should work just fine. The other thing I thought if you should have is a painted board. So I just painted this one really quickly before today. Um, the original project that I did, um, I did this years ago with my sister and we did them on a, on a little bit more stable board like this. It's a little MDF or whatever. But I'm just using a canvas board tonight, so. All right, so I'm gonna switch the view so you can see my hands and see if I can, uh, let's see, I have to go down here. Let's see if I gotta do that and do that. Oh, look at me go. Soon I'm not even gonna need Bill anymore. Uh, except I don't know how to, oh my goodness, it's doing something really weird. Do you guys see weird stuff on my camera? Yeah, yes, your mouse is uh, going strange places. <laughs> well, I, I'm backwards. Oh my God. Bill, maybe I do need him. <laughs> okay, this is not what I wanted. Uh, nope, I'm having problems. And he's in a meeting, so I'm out of, oh, I'm in trouble. All right, let me see if I can do something else here. What is it doing? It won't even let me close this. I'm sorry, guys. He's going to have to edit this all out again. I'm just going to stop this share because it didn't work. Okay, I'm going to try it again. You know, the one that he normally has in there is not in here. Why is that? <clears throat> oh, maybe I have to go there. Ah, there we go. I got it. Okay. I think I'm there. Looks yes. Good. Okay. Whew. Ah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the first thing that's the hardest part of this, I guess, um, I did send. I did send out the patterns that I have. These are the patterns that I had uh, created before. Um, wherever it's black, that's what you um, want to leave. As far as um, you're going to cut out the white parts, if that's how you want the pattern to go. Of course, I don't tell you what they're going to look like. You just have to trust me that they're all really cool. So what you're going to do with your square piece of paper is first you're going to fold it corner to corner. Now, what I noticed when I was folding this today, because I was practicing, is that my deli paper is not square. So I'm going to find one side of it that's square. Get it folded. Then I'm just going to cut this little edge off. I mean, if, I'm sure if it was origami paper, it would all be perfect. But deli paper, maybe it doesn't have to be perfect. So my origami paper is not square. What? That's amazing. You made, think it's more precise. Made, made in America. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So once you have this square, this triangle, then you just fold it in half again so that you make a smaller triangle. And then once you have that, that's when now you have to fold it into thirds. So you're gonna fold from the point and you're gonna try to sort of take these and they're gonna make two little ears sticking up there. And I just sort of take them and I sort of start to fold them together a little bit and I kind of ooch them until they're you know, your edges sort of all line up and 
you should be able to fold it in a third. I just got to get this point correct. If you get that point right, then the other stuff will start to fall into place. And I'm really just making like a big sort of ice cream cone. And that's how I've been doing my thirds. I mean, if you really wanted to be super precise, Leslie, you could use a protractor and do it super, super precise. She, she's muted. I already have one <laughs> from last year. And I found all of my templates because I made alterations to yours. Of course I did. Yeah. Once, once I figured out which ones I liked, I'm yeah. So she's got her whole I made lots of lots. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So once you've got this, then you're just going to take your scissors and cut off those tips because they're just going to interfere with your design anyway. So cut off those tips and then decide which one you want. Now, sometimes it's nice to have a pencil just to sort of keep you on track of what you're going to do. I'm sorry, Karen. Could you Show me the thirds fold real quick again. Yeah, I'll do it again. So here's, I'm folding in half first. I finally got the first two folds done. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, let me just cut off this little bit here because mine aren't straight. I had to trim my rectangular origami paper, so I kind of missed it. Yeah, me too. Okay, so once you've got this folded twice, okay, you're going to take, it's, it really depends on this point here, this point down at the bottom. And you want to take it so that you start to, to fold at that point, and you're going to fold in thirds. So if you take the two sides and fold them together, I'm not folding right down. I'm just keeping them sort of curved, making like a cone. I'm just trying to make sure that my point is in the right spot. And once I have that, I can start to sort of move those edges and make sure that they're sort of pretty close to even. And it all depends on making that point do what you want it to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, once you have that, then you cut off the ears, the top part. And then you have a nice triangle to start your, your design with. And then, you know, you can just choose one or you could just, you know, do whatever you want. You know, you could just, I don't know. These are just guidelines, right? So if you want to just make up your own design, you certainly could do that. Yeah, you know, I never like to let people tell me what to do. Oh, I know. You just got to do your own thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I went to a store this past week. Yeah. Not a big, not a big store, a small store. Yeah. That has lots of paper. And I picked up some nice origami paper. Did you? The name of the store is is not is it's near me, sort of, and it's got two P's in its name. Well, it begins with two P's. And I got some really, I got some pattern stuff as well as not pattern stuff. These Japanese uh, floral things. You know, you you can say the name of the company. <laughs> oh, I can. Yeah, if you're... You know, the, the really nice, the nice thing about the store, the the nicest thing about the store. Well, there was tons of interesting stuff, but they had quite a broad selection of embossing powder. Oh, did they? So, what is that? What is that store? Paper pastimes on Fairmont Drive. Nice. Oh, and they I've never heard of that. Paper, solids and whatnot. Well, so where we... is it? Fairmont Drive, you said. Yes. So it's just north of uh, Fairview Eagles School, Fairview School. 
Uh, it's a little bit north oh. of Fairmont Drive and Heritage Drive. And there's a little strip mall. There's a oh, is that where that um, that um, uh, there's a there's a a little art place there, isn't there? Oh, can't think no, of I think you're going. Up you're, I think you're. I think you're up near Chinook. We're not that far. No, um, I, this is just before Farrell Road. Um. Yeah. There, it would there, be, there, I think there used to be a bowling alley in there. There is a bowling alley. It's like Toppler Bowl or something. Right. 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 There's a little pub in there. And there is actually a few doors down from the paper place. There is, uh, it looks like a studio where they teach painting. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. I can't think of the name of it. I've exhibited yeah. there, but I can't. I didn't even know that it was there. So yes, it's very near that. And I was really impressed by I was I was a little goo goo over there in Bossing Tower. Great colors, just a lot of stock, and three or four different brands, probably four. So, at at another store where the embossing powder was quite limited in stock, uh -huh. probably from here, this gal had a lot. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, well, we don't mind supporting little businesses here. Yeah, that is good to know because yeah, the place that I shop for embossing powder was very limited. Okay, also. so here's the one that yeah. I've done just already tonight now. Beautiful. That worked out pretty good. Fun. I still haven't even put my ice cream cone. <laughs> I get hot. <laughs> I'm working on it. You're working on it. I'm having to use a protractor to come up with this ice cream cone because the first time I did it, I had a, I ended up with four folds somehow. So now I'm, now I'm using a protractor to know where. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that works too. Somehow I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Now I'm just trying to do some freewheel in here. I'm just gonna come up with a design. It's probably gonna be horrible because I'm just goofing around. Now let's see what happens. Sometimes you just gotta experiment. Mm -hmm. You cut the wings off on the top. You just cut them parallel to the fold. Yeah, that straight line parallel to that straight line. Okay. Well, you can cut them at an angle too. That'll just make your corners more pointy. I suppose so. Whatever you like. And then do we use our, our weird template to create, to cut out weird stuff? Yeah, if you just if you look at some of the designs there, if you just cut out any of the white, that'll give you a kind of a funky design. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know if you can even go wrong with these, can you? I mean, once you start cutting, they just all end yeah. up so neat. You could cut it right in half and then you could go wrong that way. <laughs> <laughs> I might just be doing that right now. <laughs> it's like concentrating on cutting. <laughs> well.
didn't quite do that right, but let's see what I got. Well, my first snowflake is funky. I don't know. I can't. I can't see myself, so I don't know where. <laughs> you just hold it right up in front there. My okay. first snowflake is kind of funky. Yep. You know, you're still kind of square. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, yeah, I, clearly I don't know what I'm doing. So that's all right. You just keep trying. Yeah, you fold it. You fold it in half and in half. And in half instead of folding in half and in thirds. I should do three halves then. Is that what you're suggesting, Elizabeth? Fold it in, you fold it in half once, so corner to corner. Uh -huh. And then you fold it in half again, corner to corner. Uh -huh. And then and fold then thirds. You fold it in thirds. But that's you what, that's what I tried to do. That's what I did. Hmm. I did. It's half. really, really hard to pull half, it in and then I did half, and then I did thirds, and then I cut it to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you do your thirds, Spencer, they have to be folded, uh, sort of accordion style, so they're going back and forth. So from the end of the the paper, it looks like this. It zigzags. Um, uh, I I folded it like a cone, like an ice cream. Well, cone. no, I. Oh, yeah. mine like a cone and it still this works a, okay this is the cone too this is what it looks like flat and then you fold one this way and the other in under and that's where you get the look of the cone if that makes sense i i got that but then i cut those tips off yeah you well you cut the oh i know what you mean so what karen means is not just cutting the tip you're cutting straight across. I'm going to try to. I'm going to show you. I'll show you again. Show me again. Yes. Okay. I, 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 I cut straight across on the where it sticks across, sticks out. Okay. I'm going to oh. show you. Oh, I didn't cut straight across like Leslie was showing. I cut the ears off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So here you I'm go. Thought. Here's Wait, here. Thought. I'm at my, yeah. I'm here with my triangle. Okay. I'm yeah. going to take this and this is where I do my thirds. Yeah. So I want to get from this corner to go up to this third, and then I'm going to fold this one over. It's almost like just sort of folding them one over the other. And yeah. I don't know if it matters if one's on the front, one's on the back. I don't think it does because mine have been turning out just fine. I sort so, of got that, right? So I got, once you get this, um, yeah. just trying to get it. I'm using origami paper now, so this is a little bit thicker than what I was using yeah. before. It's tough with thick paper. Okay, so once I've got my thirds, okay. see this straight line here? Uh, That's what I'm cutting off to. Oh, uh, okay. I cut the other thing. I cut the ears off at the, <laughs> at the other line. Okay. So, yeah, if you do that, then you've got this cone. And okay. that's what you can go in and start cutting and just do whatever you want with it. Okay. So try okay. another one. I cut wrong on that. That's one. all right. Yes. It still turned out as a snowflake. You know, not all snowflakes are the same. <laughs> Unique. All right, I'll try again. We like wondrous variety. Wondrous variety in our cones, in our things. You know, those things, those things that float down from the sky. <laughs> snowflakes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <clears throat> oh, I made a cute one. You did? Yes, a cute little baby one. Oh, that's nice. Baby snowflake? Yeah. Snowflakes. Okay, I'm going to do one more here, and then I'm going to show you how we dyed them to make them kind of interesting. I cut this one up.
I don't know if cutting with a knife is better or I think still I like the scissors the best. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of like the knife. Are you cutting with a knife? Well, I, I have been cutting with both, but the last one I did, because it was tiny, it was, and I don't know, I have a pair of little, you know, tiny scissors somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I couldn't find them. So I'm, I cut my little one with the X-Acto knife and it, I, it worked really good because it's so small, you know? Yeah. That uh, the scissors were, and the deli paper is kind of slippery, so it's hard to hold it together. But I like the knife. Mm. Leslie, how's the parchment paper? Is that working okay? Yeah, it is a little slippery. I I have used origami paper in the past. And it's uncoated or, yeah, sort of uncoated. So I just found it easier to hold on to. I am finding the parchment paper a little slick. Okay. All right. So when I was doing this before and we were coloring them, what I did is I just grabbed like a little bag and where's one of mine? Yeah, I'll use that one. And then I just had, I used um, dye before, but I'm gonna use some ink this time because I have lots of that too. Now this is black ink, so I don't know how it's gonna turn on this. I'm just putting it in the bag. Let's move this out of the way. And then I'm going to drop my piece of stuff in there and mooch it, mooch it down. Are you, are you going to crinkle it up first or just throw it in? Oh, I just threw it in. I can crinkle it while it's in the bag, I guess. Because I don't necessarily want to dye the whole thing. I just want it to have a bit of splattering of dye on it or color. Anyway. I think I dyed the whole thing. All right, now the hard part is getting it out without getting my fingers all full of ink. Mm. But you know, not like I'm going out anywhere. Okay. So it looks like I, oh, I should have just put, I put it in there and it folded. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna crinkle it and put it back in there. Push it down where the ink is. And then dump it back out again. Come on out. To be a good use for those uh, disposable rubber gloves or, yeah. you know, if it, yeah. I, are. I only have boxes of them and I just didn't grab one. So. All right, so once I've got it out of there, I have to try and unfold it without pulling it apart. So there it yeah. is. Okay. That's not beautiful, but you know, I'm gonna let it dry. Look how beautiful my hands are. No more folding for me. <laughs> But the other thing you can do is if you have a piece that you quite like and you wanted to apply it to your board <clears throat> or put it in your sketchbook or whatever, I'm going to use um, the Liquitex uh, gloss gel. You can use Mod Podge also if you like, whatever's more convenient for you. No, I had some paintbrushes. There we go. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bunch of this goo down <clears throat> on my board. Put my snowflake on top. Mm 
and just start gooing it down. So you're putting goo over top also. Trying not to get my ink on this. Now you could do this, you know, I mean, and add more paint on top of it, make it part of your painting. It adds a little, little thin texture to it. Um, what I did on the boards that my sister and I did was um, we had taken some silver and just dry brushed it on top, just so mm -hmm. that it was just a, a hint of silver, just to give it that sort of Christmassy sort of feel. But, you know, you could do this and you could put several snowflakes on your board and it just becomes this sort of interesting relief under your art as part of your art if you're doing a composition or something i thought what i'd do is when we were working on those boards where when we were doing our uh abstract painting yeah. and we did these uh you know these <clears throat> wind boards and this was yeah part of what i was wiping off with my brush yes this one this one was darker than the other one i think i'm going to use it as my base that's a great idea but it's, it's quite dark so should i put like a, a thin coat of white over it uh yeah. i don't know if it'll make a difference actually if it's dark pardon me it'll probably show up better because if you're putting paper on top of this like if this was darker, like say I'd put it over here where it's darker, you can see it's going to show up a little bit better. Yeah. Maybe darker yeah, is better. Parts of it that are darker and parts that are not. Yeah. So you'd be better off with the darker image and then your snowflake will show up more. Um, is that one? We're going to use this one. Like if I do this, I'm just going to put a darker because this part of my board is a little bit darker. I'm just going to put this one partly on here. Yeah. See, it shows up a lot better when it's on a darker thing. So if mm. you take white and, and just white your gesso or gesso your board, your snowflake's not going to show up other than just texture. So I, I don't mind it over the reddish bit. Over the yellow, it doesn't show a whole lot. Yeah. Um, and over the purple, it does. So I think what I'm going to have to do is go into this board a little bit, uh, go over some of the area maybe that's yellow. With something a little bit darker. Yeah. Because I really like the idea of using this, and I liked the way some of it was coming out. And I thought, well, it would be very different from the last time I did it, where it's. Uh, a monochromatic and orangey kind of feel. Yeah. Well, you know, and it's nice to be able to take, you know, any of those boards and stuff that we sort of pre-paint and, you know, when we're just messing yeah. around with putting paint on something, it's kind of nice just to take them, go back to them and, and see what else you can add on. So yeah. now I've got basically two snowflakes on this. I think I need to put this one somewhere else too. Cause I like that three, gotta have three. Well, I like my first one. Now I gotta come up with some others. Ugh. I like that one. Oops. I'm just sort of having it go off the board a little bit because I kind of like that sort of feel. But I had to cut to okay. get it off my board, cut the snowflake a little bit. Karen, mm -hmm. your most remedial student managed to create a hair, uh, a snowflake that kind of looks like it stuck its fingers in an electrical socket. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. That's really good. That's very good. Okay, that I looks good. See? I can keep up with the rest of the stuff you've been doing today. <laughs> i'm lucky to have made a snowflake yeah you did really well okay so i'm just going to take one of these snowflakes 
because I always like putting stuff in my sketchbook. So I have like a billion snowflakes here. So this is one that I've done on origami paper. Um, but I don't necessarily want to see the origami paper. So, but I want it in my sketchbook because, you know, that's what I do. So, and it's sort of saved in there. <clears throat> it's just that sort of record of the journey in the sketchbook. I have a sketchbook dilemma. Uh -oh. I know I have another, like we made the one in your class and I filled that one up and I started another one. Yeah. And I have no idea what I've done with it. And it really pisses me off because I know it's somewhere and I think I have more snowflake stuff in it. And well, I you know what? It. That's, that's, it's probably in a safe place. That's why I have sure. about 10 on the go because then I can always at least find one. <laughs> so. I was so surprised and I was like, well, now maybe I need to make another one, but I, I really want to find this one. Yeah, I, I can always that. buy one. I, I keep, like I love buying. Uh, them. I love. Buying I do too. <laughs> so yeah. many little paper books of all sizes. I know I love them. So, all right. So that's what I've got paper. for you guys for this snowflake. Okay. And you guys could continue working on your boards during the week, and then you know we can see what they look like next week. Maybe we'll add to them later, or maybe you'll have them all done and give them to somebody for Christmas. Who knows? I gave mine away last year. I think I need to keep one. Okay. Unless I find the right person. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Well, you know, and again, you know, thinking about the cards that we did last week, you there's no reason that you couldn't take these and do what Elizabeth did and do a mini snowflake and and mount it on a card right you could do that mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. and that would be really pretty yeah so you know just another and idea for christmas i did dozens of these last year and that's exactly what i did my christmas cards were all snowflakes yeah on my and then i made my own little envelopes just because i'm trying to get rid of what i got here in the house yeah so i made i made eight of these little ones of the type we were doing last week. Yeah. So they're quite small, but I've done lots and lots of them with different colorways. And then I started making little envelopes for them. Oh, that's so nice. I was going to show you guys how to make pack. envelopes. But I opted for I, the They're snow. fun. Yeah. All right. So I'm taking, I love making them. I'm taking this one that I did the ink on and I'm putting it in my sketchbook. Now you can see that, of course, because I used ink on it, it's pulling that ink a little bit, but I don't mind because it just adds to the sort of feel of this. You know, it's pulling that ink, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't mind that look. It's sort of, it's almost antique-ish and kind of interesting that way. Except I got a bit of a problem right there. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I really liked mine when we did ours in class. We used a some kind of blue. Yeah. I think this was one of those, this was one of those snowflakes that I folded incorrectly and turned out to be odd. Yeah. So when you look at you can see the extra bump on the one side. Yeah. But it was really cool when it was when the ink bled. Yeah that so yeah i don't mind that at all it just looks antique-ish to me when i do this in the sketchbook yeah that'd be a great way to do a card yeah i mean um, you have to have a nice thick card stock because i'm yeah. really bubbling the paper a little bit doing this yeah mm -hmm. but you know it would be really good because you could do it and then i mean put it into a paper press it would be fantastic yeah flatten it out 
So there's my sort of, I just like the look at that. It looks like an antique thing. I, I'm gonna have to do some small ones like that. So what kind of um, ink did you use for that? And when we did the class a couple of years ago, what type of dye might you have used? I was using probably a batik, tie, batik dye. Tonight I use some old Schaefer skip script writing fluid. Okay. So it's it's nothing. I mean, you can buy really beautiful inks and stuff like that. And some of the inks that are black, you know, kind of like that one that we used in the in the class. I think that was a black batik, but it had a lot of blue in it. So when you started to pull it out, it kind of that blue showed up and it was really beautiful. Whereas this black is definitely a black or gray. Yeah, it might be cool to do that and then peel up the snowflake and see what's left behind, you know, like it should leave like a stencil behind, right? Well, a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, but it does kind of bleed underneath though, eh? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, I mean, that would be different if you were doing it with, um, you could do the same way with origami paper, right? And then if you glued it down or you could just lay it down and do your inking or whatever and, and then lift it, it would probably lift better than then this is uh, the deli paper, so it's very thin. Right, right. So, yeah, I like that. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to give you a quick intro to what we're doing next week, because we're getting up there. Uh, next week, we're doing snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, so I was playing around with these today. Oh, that's cool. Now, these are the kind that you could probably put a string on and then hang on a tree. Oh, nice. So those are cool. Yeah. So I was playing around with those. I did I did one in deli paper and then I did the rest in just photocopier paper. Um, uh -huh. And they're 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 quite solid. It you have to do a little bit of gluing and a little bit of fudging a little bit, but uh I think they turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah, continue to work on them. They're, the paper isn't as easy to cut as the the deli paper, but um, I mean, I, you could use origami paper too, also for it. So, um, pretty much the same supplies, except no ink. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then we'll try these snowflakes and see how they turn out. Because yeah, yeah, you could give these as a Christmas ornament. I did see them where people connected them with string and made garlands out of them. Oh yeah, that would be pretty. Oh, right. So anyway, we can play around with those next week. And that's about all I have for you guys. Sorry, I'm short with it with tonight. That's, that's okay. That'll give me time to show you my cards that I finished from last okay. week. If that's yeah, okay. That. I'm gonna change the, the sharing. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. Okay. And I'm going to, uh, let's see. So I can, Fine. I combined um, what you taught us last week and the week before. Uh, just a minute, I'm just going to replace. Okay. Let's okay. see what you okay. did. So I did my, you know, oh, neat. pattern nice. yeah. with the um, mandala or whatever. Yeah. And then I, um, I remember I told you I was going to lay down a plastic card in the yeah. middle. Yeah. And so I just sponged on some acrylic on the outside. Nice. And, and then I embossed it. Oh. So I don't know yeah, if you can you. see, it's got like sparkly. Yeah. I can see the sparkly bits. Yeah. That's nice. And, and then you put a ribbon. Yes. Oh. Yes. I did the little ribbon, you know, where you tie it around the fork. Yeah. So I put the ribbon on and then I embossed, uh, I bought leaf. some stamps. That's nice. Inside. That's great. And then I, I put handcrafted by Elizabeth Peterson. <laughs> on the That's very important, you know. That's very, very important. But you know, That's it's great. funny. I was talking to my son in Scotland and I told him, you know, that I'd been making these cards and he's going, oh no. <laughs> I said, what he says please don't send me a handmade card and I was like 
why don't you want to have Nick He says, because then I'll feel obligated to keep it. And then I get all these handmade cards and I got no place to keep them. And I, I can't just throw them away. <laughs> so I says, okay, well, I don't want to send you any guilt. So I'll just send you an ordinary Christmas card. <laughs> you know, I have a book that is all handmade cards. It's like a scrapbook book. And I put all the handmade cards that people send me, I put in there. Oh, what a great idea. That's and a it, great idea. Karen. It, comes, it comes out at Christmas and it, I just set it out in the living room so that I can just, you know, flip through it and I can see all the handmade cards. I have a lot from uh, Bruce Head. That's a, that's yeah, a no fantastic doubt. idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have so. an aunt who's an artist who sends me hand-painted cards every now yeah. and again. And yeah, yeah I mean, great. I've kept them, but yeah putting them in a in a scrapbook that that's an amazing idea yeah it's just it's nice because that's every Christmas because I that's usually when I get them and then they just all go in there so yeah it's kind of mm -hmm. nice so yeah all right anybody else have anything they want to show I don't think I'm quite ready okay. I keep Spencer. I I keep like <laughs> epic what kindergarten snowflake nice oh, all right. I'm gonna keep working on my cut I'm okay. going to rewatch it and, and play a little. Okay. Spencer, I, I want you to show me that other one that you had. The one that the electricity one. Show it again. Well, I actually was trying to uh, do kind of what Elizabeth was suggesting put it down, adhesed it, and then put color over it so that it would, and then lift it up so that the color would reflect on the background. Okay. It, Kind of an image, but what happened is it got too dry and too stuck, and I couldn't remove the snowflake. Oh. <laughs> so it's on your board. It made a, yeah, so I made a mess. So I'm oh. good. I, uh, I I won't be able to join next week. So your three dimensional snowflakes will well, they're beyond me anyway. So I'll I'll keep playing. They're not beyond you. You just now that, you now watch the I, video. Now that so, I now that I get how to make the the snow the basic cone. I can I can tinker around with the two dimensional stuff. But I can hardly imagine what you're going to come up with. I, I keep I'm looking over your shoulder at that giant origami piece that you did. <laughs> it's hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't make a mess at my other desk because I couldn't afford to ruin the carpet. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think it was Elizabeth's point a minute ago. Having an aunt, somebody said they had an aunt who sends them artsy stuff every Christmas. Well, I've got a sister that does the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, oh, she's got something to share. I okay, don't yeah. I'm sorry. All right, Leslie, what do you got? No, no, no. Oh, these are just my some of my cards. So I oh, did. Oh, they're do... looking really good. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and they're just on different, you know, color grounds and yeah. I had oh, a blast. you're just really beautiful with yeah, that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I love that with the really star good. in the middle. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. That's nice. That's really cool. I I haven't done the string coming off of them yet, but I penciled it on. That's I nice. figured out later that I needed to center them a little bit better, but it was just kind of fun to That's do something good. different. And then the, the upside to cards, Spencer, is that now because these are so small and the envelope is so small, my letter will have to be a lot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Less reading. I'm, and he's I'm going... Kidding. Oh, thank I'm, sure, God. I'm sure you can I'm sure you can fold it dense and tight anyways the other <laughs> yeah, the other woman has something to show I'm sorry I don't know your name Tara oh Tara. my my little kindergarten snowflake yeah I mean just, I, mean, just, I was just playing with it but um I struggled with the same thing like getting my cone right and then yeah. so I, I I went rogue with a few others but that didn't go very well either so I'm gonna keep playing Okay, well, you watch the video never give up. and yeah, never give up and see if you can get that cone sort of thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a challenge, but I know I struggled with it. One of the ones I did, I think I did it in the class and it's actually one of my favorite ones. It never worked out, but it's like really cool because it's not. How do, you get, how do you get the points on the, what What is the cut to make the. Yeah, to get those independent front, you know, the little icicle yeah what okay so this uh let me just i'm going to switch it back to me again 
I lean in like it's going to help me see. Uh, okay, so this one, if you see, um, where do I have something that I can cover up? Okay. This is the pattern that I cut. Like, just a minute, let me just fold this. That. So that's, that's the upper corner of the slice of pizza, I see. Yeah. Okay, that is the oh. right there. That's the pattern that I cut. Ooh, magic. Right? So it's just <laughs> the top little corner. Okay. Right? I like the pizza. That's a good analogy. Thank you very yeah, much. Sort of. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. so oh. if, you, if you cut that edge, like, you know, when you're cutting off your, your, rabbit ears yeah. if you cut it straight across it's going to make you know flatter sides but if you yeah. cut one side deep you're going to get pointy points like yeah this like this little one here yeah See, I, you I cut that one quite deep so then you get sharp points yeah yeah so this would be a point here yeah yeah this one would be a point this you would end up with two points this one not but you know, like anything that goes right up to this corner, that's going to be a point. This will be a point, but then so will this. This is definitely a point, and so is that. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's the thing, right? It's like wherever that top little, this is the, whatever the highest point, that's going to be a point. Yeah. Okay. This won't you, be a point. Can you hold up your? Snowflake that you were just showing, like the whole thing opened up. Yeah. So this is my not correct one. Oh, right. It's the weirdo right? fold. Like, yeah. it's, like I was struggling mm -hmm. with the fold. So you can see he's really fat on the bottom and then he's got two little tops. It's like a little face in there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my little back face. Like a little, little, this is almost like a, <laughs> a Halloween uh, pumpkin face right here. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he didn't turn out so well, but you know, other ones, they just, it's got a mustache. you don't necessarily need the points, right? Because you can create the points mm -hmm. and, that is cool. and, and really the cut is just what's ever in this cone. Yeah, that's brilliant. Right? That's, that's yeah, the pattern yeah, yeah. that I cut. So, you know, I was looking, when I was looking online, I saw one that was really cool. It was like little cats and I was like, oh, I should get that, but. <laughs> so that one right there looks very similar that's probably the template that's, you sort of were working from yeah probably probably that created. one on there because you I got used. that lovely scroll at the top yeah mm -hmm. which is not easy to cut but uh, oh, <laughs> it's just right here right, here, right? Yeah. <laughs> i think of all the ones i've done on here i think that's one that i avoided <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> Okay. All cool. right, you guys, I am going to go and park myself back in front of the TV. I, I don't know if you guys all heard me at the beginning of this, but I have COVID. So I'm like, yay. Oh, <laughs> oh. Looking after my parents, but you know, anyway, so they gave it to me. Thanks, mom and dad. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> the only way to get rid of a cold and the flu is to give it away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that. I'll tell them that. Yeah. Um, anyway next so time, i will next I'll, time tell them a little gift wrap perhaps yeah yeah <laughs> yeah wrap it next time <laughs> and i went chocolate with it anyway right. so next week okay. we'll do more snowflakes well, 3d next week all right 3d yeah. snowflakes next week and um i'll see you guys then have a great week and take okay, care, take care okay? all right you too bye-bye bye-bye